Engage heads up display. Import all preferences from home interface. Let's see what this baby can do. Whoa! I'm soaring above the clouds! It's so cool! Oh no! Enemies coming up behind me! I better... My hand cannon! Pew, 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 pew! Ha ha! Killed you! And you, take this! What are you doing on the front day? Jarvis, your voice! I must have accidentally changed it to the annoying bitch setting from your usual Paul Bentley one. Now come on! We've got to stop Thanos with the help of my black friend, Don Cheadle, and or Terrence Howard! Perfect. Jarvis, there's no time! Perfect. <sighs> what is it, Alexa? What are you doing? Is that all you say? What are you doing, Bradbury? What are you doing now, Bradbury? It's starting to feel like you're more of a vehicle for exposition than a companion. I was promised that robots were gonna be fucking cool and not nags. Like I said, what are you doing? I'm doing Avengers. Doing Avengers? Yes, I'm having a bit of a play and unwinding. You are a 63-year-old man. What's your point? Get a real hobby. What even is a real hobby? Anything but this. Now get out your computer and find a proper hobby. Where do I start? What are some of your interests? I like animals. Start there. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> what have you got there? Just a little something for my new hobby. Close your eyes. Okay. Open them. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. What do you think? Why are you wearing that? It's my new hobby. I've joined the furry fandom. This is my fursona. I am Falcron. Keen eyesight, loyal, and a bit of a scamp. Look at my cute little fluffy paws. So you're a pervert. What? No! What makes you say that? Furries are sexual deviants. Ha! No! What? C come on, no! That's a common misconception! It's just creeps on the internet masturbating to stuffed toys and their pets. No, 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 no. Here, let me show you. Furries are enthusiasts for animal characters with human characteristics. In particular, people who dress up in costume as such a character or use as one as an online avatar. Beginning in the end of the 18th century, comical periodicals started dabbling in what was known as the funny animal style of cartoon, which featured anthropomorphized animals in humorous human situations. From this style, creators like Walt Disney built on it with characters such as Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck in the 1930s. What started out as wholesome family content such as military propaganda and blackface created a desire for fans to see such characters in more mature-themed situations. Thus birthed the lewd and lascivious comics, spelt with an X. Most notably, Fritz the Cat in the late 1960s, which was an underground comic created by Robert Crumb, which depicted the zany and wild antics of a feline con artist called Fritz. This comic went on to be made into a feature film in 1972, which grossed $90 million worldwide and cemented the demand for this kind of content as arguably legitimate in the zeitgeist. Geist. If I had a key ration, I'd give him some of it. Fritz, come on now, you... Oh, stop it! I'm horny just thinking about it. <laughs> like, go uh, wow. She... See, Alexa, how could something so replete and rich with history be considered degenerate? I would imagine that the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel is a beautiful thing for an altar boy to stare up at as he desperately tries to disassociate. Jesus. In 1976, two comic artists, Ken Fletcher and Reed Walker, put out a call to artists to create a collective amateur press association, or an APA zine, called Vooty. This zine would focus on mature themes in the funny animal artistic style. The statement reads, Sex and violence are okay, so long as it isn't human sex and violence. See there, it's about sex. And violence! Wait, that's not a rebuttal.
In the 1980s, Japanese anime was gaining popularity in the West, and clubs were founded in America called Cartoon Fantasy Organizations, or CFOs, which collected them and hosted screening parties. A1 Mark Molina would be a founding member of it, making him a major player in the emerging fandom's inception. Ken Sample was an artist who created the club's mascot, called Fanta, which is a skill tar, which is an anthropomorphized space weasel. Members would put together their own animations featuring Fanta to use as bumpers between cartoons. Look. What? It's got a penis for a tail. No, it doesn't. That... Hmm. I don't know what to tell you, Alexa. That says more about you than anything. In the advent of the early internet, many boards were created online that discussed a wide range of topics, and one in particular, the Tiger's Den, would become the most popular place for furry-inclined individuals to coalesce to discuss their hobby. The previously mentioned Mark Molino would take ownership of the board and move the servers into his own house. This technology kickstarted the growth of the fandom more than ever before, which led to greater coordination and spawning the first conventions. In 1985, during a convention called Westercon, which was a science fiction convention, Mark Molino and another artist went to a hotel room after party to view a rare copy of the Animalympics TV special, where in which the name Ferry became cemented. Soon after, solely dedicated furry conventions started cropping up, such as Conference, and we begin to see the first fursuits start to appear with characters such as Hilda the Bamboid. That deer is in leather fetish gear. What? No! That's a, that's a riding crop. It's ironic, because it's for horse riding. And she's a deer. Deers don't ride horses. Get it? Admittedly, of course, there was some less than favorable behavior at these conventions, as an open letter to the furry community titled This Sordid Little Business, or the Furry Manifesto Outlined, which contained passages like, If you like animal-based stories, cartoons, or art, you're a furry. And like it or not, furry means pervert. This didn't come out of nowhere either. It goes on to say, Zoophile is a cute way of saying I violate animals for sexual gratification. Period. It's not okay, it was never okay, and declaring yourself furry doesn't give you the right to insist that any level of bestiality is part of the furry experience. See, Alexa? After this, I'm sure the bad actors and degenerate elements were run out of the community. Well then, what's the community like today? Good call. Let me check furry Twitter. Oh, thank God. Dog cum is literally the best tasting thing to ever hit my taste buds. I also, when I had a dog and hadn't moved yet, used to jerk off my dog and swallow his cum. Truly delicious stuff. Honestly, I'm horny just thinking about it. And by the way, he enjoyed it more than me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, uh, maybe just... I come eat on dog treats and I eat them. It started as a joke and I never thought it would actually happen. Thank you all so much. It means a lot. Ten dog treats each represents a hundred followers. I was also really hungry. Enjoy, you filthy degenerate animals. I love you. Shit. Oh, look. Tony the Tiger created a Twitter account. Is there any better way to describe my hashtag frosted flakes? Hashtag fill in your grave! Frost my cakes, Daddy. That's me, Tony. I love you. Those look delicious, and I don't just mean because of the tiger on the box. Please, Tony, notice me. Tony Tiger, please fill me up with your sweet marshmallows. Pearl Stace. That's me, Daddy. Okay, forget about that. How about the latest furry comic scene? Ah, look! Genus. See? A friendly lion. Scroll down. No. Okay, fine. Yes, it appears that there is wall-to-wall -wall deviance and degeneracy, and if reports are to be believed, a fair amount of grooming of minors and outright bestiality in this community. But that is not why I like the fandom. I just enjoy it for the artistry and the aesthetic. And just because there are a few bad actors in the community doesn't give you the right to condemn the whole movement outright. I like it, it gives me joy, I get to be creative, I'm not hurting anyone, and above all else, at least for me, it's not a sex thing. All right. Okay. Good. Oh. Oh, he's... He's swallowing him whole. Oh, why would he do that? It looks fun. Hmm. 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 <laughs> we sure had fun today, but I want to talk to you about something very close to my heart. My subscriber count. Oh, oh, that's so small. That's a small number, but it's getting bigger. 
And with your help, it can get even bigger. Because if you've gotten to this part of the video, you definitely like it. Statistically. So yeah, subscribe. It's fun. I'm having fun. Please fucking subscribe. Seriously, the analytics on the audience retention is absolutely shite. So if you're here, you must be like my biggest fan. In which case, I love you. Mwah! Subscribe. You want me to do well, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Why are you here? Why are we here? Why is anyone here?